what is up guys welcome back to another video with the kid e man today we are back again with another video won't be here for long or we'll see about that um today 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 just want to say happy news again you know i'm now we're talking for real for real. last time was just a vlog but i just want to come here and say god has a great plan for you and god loves you jesus loves you start this year right if maybe last year or the years before even still now you've been going through a hard time life hasn't been easy life hasn't been how it should be you know what i'm saying i want to tell you this jesus loves you no matter if you think how stupid that sounds if you're not even if you even if you don't believe me let me tell you jesus loves you and just don't leave just stay just stay because i'm a living testimony right i've went through so much hard times i used to go through so much i remember I, you know i was depressed at one point saying i had a lot of problems with me especially growing up you know what i'm saying it, it just wasn't an easy life you know what I'm saying? But, you know, thankfully, God has kept me through 16, 17, to be 17 years later. You know, God's been keeping me, protecting me, and it's honestly been a blessing, and I'm so thankful for all God has done for me. You know, for me to even have a monitor, to have, you know, to see all this, my MacBooks over here, don't mind these cords, to see all these clothes, to see all these, my beanie collection. You know what I'm saying? All of that, the little things count because I remember where I come from and it's only because of God that I'm able to be where I'm at today. I'm not even at the top for real, but I'm still grateful because I know where I came from. I know God has picked me up. He has turned me around. He has set my feet on solid ground. So I thank the master. I thank the savior. And that is God. So I thank God. You know what I'm saying? And I want to tell you, because I went through a lot of the unforgiveness and everything, and you might be holding that in, but I want to tell you just to let it go. Let it go unto God. Go to God with your mess and watch God just remove that out of your life. Because let me tell you, God loves you with everlasting love. And because we've done a lot of wrong, let's all admit, you've lied, you've stolen, you did something. And you haven't been doing this once, but you've been doing a lot of sinning your whole life. And God is still there. Jesus is like, you know, I'm so hey, sorry. I'm waiting for you to come to me because I want to change you for the better. I don't want you to end up in hell. Hell was ne never normally meant for us, meant for Satan and his angels. But because of what happened in the beginning, now I still had a plan. So he brought Jesus so that he can save us. But it's your decision to choose if you're going to accept it to your life. So I want to say this. If you were to die today, listen, if you were to die today, God forbid, do you know where you'd be going? Would it be heaven or would it be hell? Now, that's a question you got to ask yourself. If you're not even sure, or if you know, I'm probably not going to make, you You wouldn't make it into heaven, stay tuned. Or even if you're like, you know, Emmanuel, I've accepted it into my life, but I feel like I need a restart, and that's okay. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. That's how much he loves you. If you use, he's a God of second chances, of third chances. But you better hurry before it's too late. You know, it says it says that all of sin that follow share the glory of God, and that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And whosoever calls on him the Lord, they shall be saved. So if you're like Emmanuel, I'm ready to make this decision today. And I know... If I go through any hard times, I know God is with me and I can, call, I can count on him. I want you to repeat after me. I want you to say, dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and you rose on the third day. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Wash me afresh and anew. Cleanse me. Set me free. Dear Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord over my life. I thank you that I'm on my way to heaven and I am saved because I have accepted you to my heart. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen, amen. Let me tell you this. Right now, if you just pray that prayer, heaven is rejoicing. Heaven is rejoicing and excited because you have made that choice. Now, I want to tell you this. This is the important part two. Now, let me tell you this. The devil's going to try to play games with you, but no God is with you. As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I want to tell you that your sins are forgiven. And whenever you mess up or sin, know you can run to God and ask for forgiveness. And he will help you and he will forgive you. He will help you to come on this walk. Because it says, for the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Because he is everything I need. He is everything I have. He, he is our shepherd and guiding us. You got to go to the word every day. Get in, get your weapon out. Read the word, know the word, know what God is saying. So you can be disciplined and then you can be discerned. 
in a lot of things you know a, a lot of things a lot of things that i hear from like you know new born again believers is that when they sin or when they mess up they feel like the devil likes to play tricks and i'm saying like aha aha you guys now I forgive you you're done for da, 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 da. sin all this stuff look at you you see what you did god can't forgive you family can't forgive you nobody loves you no, no, don't ever listen to that jesus loves you and you know think about it as this when you fall into sin it's kind of like when a little kid is playing mind the back of noise when the little kid is playing and next thing you know they fall they fall and scrape their need to hurt themselves what's the first thing gonna do they're gonna run to their guardian run to their parents because they those are the ones that take care of them and then the parents does what they have to do to fix him to heal him so that he could be better that's the same way with, with god our heavenly father when you fall to sin run to god you you can fall but don't stay down because that's you don't fail until you stay down you fall down okay get back up if you stay down no you have to get back up and continue this race because life is a race and we can't give up. Whatever you go through, just know God is with you. My name is Emmanuel. Enemy is God with us. God is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I, um, hit me a DM. I can help you out. But anyways, I just want to know Jesus loves you and start to share off right. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below um, or Instagram, you know, if you you want to send a dm if you have a prayer or whatever you need and help with there but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and the lord bless you and keep you may his face shine upon you and be gracious to you may the lord turn his face towards you and give you peace in the name of jesus it's the kitty man guys we have 440 subscribers 10 away from 450 almost halfway to 500 subs we're doing good we got this we're gonna do all up for god's glory this is gonna be great excited for this year and i hope you are too jesus loves you and i'll see you soon